Young. I'm a licensed physical therapist, and this is a squatting exercise that can be used as a stretch. Um, if you have some soreness through, through kind of that low back um, and through the backs of your legs, um, what you'll do is you'll look for something to hold on to. Um, it might be a sturdy door handle, so you could hold on to the front and the back, or you could have find a sturdy railing or like the edge of the bed or something like that. So you'll be holding on to it and you'll be shifting your weight back. So you want to make sure something's sturdy so it's not going to move for you. Um, with this one, you're going to have your feet about hip width apart, your toes pointed forward. You'll grab onto your strong surface and then with trying to keep your back nice and straight, you're going to sit back as far as you can. Now with this, if you can get all the way down into a low squat, that's awesome. But if you feel like your back starts bending, that's not what we want. So give it a try again of sitting back, just going as low as you can, keeping your back nice and straight. If it's hard to do that um, because of your feet and ankles, then the calf stretch is one that you're going to want to work on a lot before doing this. Um, otherwise, it just takes some practice. So it's okay if you can't go down real far, but it does give a really nice stretch through that low back, the hips, um, knees, ankles, all of it. So if it's too much for your knees, then just go back as far as you can um, at any point in time. You can stop and just hold it for a little bit there. All right, so go ahead and give that a try. If you have questions, ask questions, but remember to breathe as you're going down and just hold it, taking a few deep breaths. And you can, you can do it three to five times to just get a nice stretch through that lower body. So feel free to ask questions. I hope it helps with that low back. Thanks.